You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I'm just getting set up here for our next retro Happy Meal toy video. And look at this, it's 16 toys. They're from 2000, and they're all Hot Wheels, and they're calling it the Burning Up the Track set. And uh, there's also some other vehicles in here. A set, uh, a launcher, another clip, and then a, well, a keychain clip, and then a set of binoculars. So it's pretty interesting what you have in here. I can't wait to check them all out. But first, as always, we'd like to take a look at the bag that came with the set way back in 2000. So I'm going to move all the toys off the table, and we'll come back and take a look at that. All right, so let's check out this Happy Meal bag. This has the Hot Wheels burning up the track side on the bottom. It says, uh, the McDonald's Hot Rod and Corvette are racing. Which car will cross the finish line first, find all the letters hidden in the track, unscramble them, and see who wins? Answer on the bottom. You'll see these little letters all around. And uh, you give yourself that challenge. This side is another message in a locker. Now that also ties in with the back because I think there was a Barbie set at the time, which we might have. I'm not sure yet, but... Put these scenes in order from start to finish and watch this swimming champ win a medal. And the last side of this bag has a couple coupons there. One for a lip gloss maker and the other is for a Viper Strike starter set. Very cool. So that is the bag from 2000. I think it's time though we got to get to these cars and all the vehicles and check out the toys. So let's do that next. Alright, here we go. I don't want to move too fast but I do have to get through 16... Happy Meal Toys. This is the Lamborghini Diablo vehicle. And remember now, $25,000 scholarship. That is toy number one. And it's a purple car. And I noticed some of the bags have stickers. This one does not. So it's just a straight purple car with no other decoration on it. Which is kind of cool for a Lamborghini. So while uh, that is happening, and you're looking at that a little bit, I will take out one of these. Now, not all the toys normally have these in the bag, so here we go. Let's see. Do I win? Payable $5,000 a year for five years. Ooh, how many nickels does it take to equal $10? Answer? A daily double. 200 All right. So let's take another close look here now. I'll just give it a quick spin and I'll have to show them all, you know, later on. And there is the bottom. They look like nice Hot Wheels. Rolls great. All right. Toy one. How exciting. Let's move on to toy number two. Toy number two is a car. It is a Chevrolet Corvette. Ooh, a Lamborghini and a Corvette. I wonder if we have some kind of cool cars going on here. Well, they're all cool cars, you know what I mean. Am I wondering if there's any trucks or pickup trucks and Jeeps or anything like that, or is it all sports cars? Let's see, what is the tallest mountain in the world? That is Mount Everest. Mm-hmm. Now with these cars, I know there's not much for me to do or show you, so I will just kind of give you a quick look at them. So the bottom first, and I'll zoom into the actual car here, and you can take a look at that. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, another good roller. Who has this whole set from 2000 in their collection? I wonder if anybody does have the whole set. Leave that in the comments. It'd be... Interesting to find out. All right, there, okay, I don't know what I was going to say. All right, there you go. That is toy number two. Kind of mumbling my words. Let's move on to toy number three. All right, on to toy number three, the Lotus Elise. And I'm not too familiar with that vehicle, but uh, we'll take a look at it. In comparison to the other ones, it seemed like a smaller sports car. Just by looking at the size of the Hot Wheels. And there's no little thing in there. Ooh, nice looking little car. The Lotus Elise. Hmm. I'll have to check that one out. 
I mean, compared to the Corvette, look. Now, how realistic are they in relationship to the actual size? I do not know, but it looks like a smaller Speedster. Pretty cool. I will zoom in again just because it seems like that's what I've been doing, but... Okay, here we go. Number four. Not the binoculars, the key clip launcher. Hmm. What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, let's find out what a key clip launcher is. Wow, 16 toys, and I'm on number four. I don't want to rush, but... Ooh, look at that. So it's an engine. Well, it looks like a some kind of induction hood on it. Or hood, I mean, induction piece. Which would pop out of the hood. Oh, and you can connect it to track. I see a track piece. So this wheel... What does this wheel do? So you could just shoot the wheel or launch a car. See that? They saw the wheel. Got it. Or a car. Hmm. And there's a track clip. Let's just see. Let's launch my Corvette. spring seems to be stuck. I got a stuck spring. Mm. Not too excited about that, huh? They show like an X clip there. See that X? I mean a plus sign, sorry. And then, oh, I guess it is kind of like a plus sign. But what's with the hook? I don't get the hook. That launch is okay. The car? Let's see, maybe there's something I'm missing here. No. That's really it. Well, I thought I was going to get more bang for my buck here, but uh, maybe you can... No. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that was a little better. All right, it's still pretty cool to look at, right? So that is the key clip launcher number four. Let's move on to number five. All right, number five is called the Jordan. Now that's a vehicle with stickers. And this is a crazy set so far. Some with stickers, some without stickers. And look at all the stickers. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Wow, look at that. Well, let me put a few on for you right now. Let's see. I like the look of the eye sticker on the back. Looks like it goes right in that section. So let's find eye. There's eye. It looks like it's supposed to lay right in here. Oh, it doesn't go on the other side. Let's see, they don't show it. They show top-down view, so... That's where it goes. And then there's little side stickers here. L. L. You always have to look at these. You're putting it on the right way. Does it go the other way? There you go. So L is that way. M is that way. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Where is M? L N M Wow Oops This calls for some tweezers or something Okay I got two on Now since there, if there wasn't 16 toys I would do more of these for you But I am going to have to uh well, let's get this buzzing. C, that looks cool. Where's C? Top down, right down the center. Buzin? Buzini? Buzin, what is that? I don't know. But it's cool.
All right, I'll finish this one up later. Let's move on to number six. Well, let me give you a little close-up here of what I did so far. So this is Toy 5, which they're calling the Jordan. I bet I've seen all these cars at garage sales and bins and never realized that it was a set of 16 all together. But now we know. All right, let's move on to number six. Now I'm getting a sense here now. Now looking at this one, the Williams FI team, Williams I team, that now we're looking at open wheel cars, open wheel race cars. And they have pretty intense sticker package with each one. So let me just do one on this one because the, the next car is also one of these. This one I know right away because I did it on the last one. It goes right there. It's funny though, it covers up those two little bump bumps in the top. Alright, it's a totally white car. And the next one is another open wheel racer. Very cool. So let's uh, move on to that one. Number seven is next. Let's check it out. All right, number seven is the Jaguar Racing vehicle with sticker, and it's a green race card. For a long time, green was the color you were not supposed to put on a race car or paint your whole car green. I wonder if it's the Jaguars that changed that. I don't remember. I know there's a story behind that. Okay, look at that. This is These are cool. Just look at the metal flake paint in there. You almost don't want to cover it all up with stickers, but here's the sticker sheet for this one. Oh, where's that big Jaguar go? Oh, I bet you, yeah. What is that? D? It goes over this section with the Jaguars facing forward. Okay, so if the picture is like this, they're looking at it like this, this D goes like this. So you probably have to center it here. Close. There you go. That's neat. Well, I can't finish that for you, but it looks pretty cool. So let's move on to number eight. Number eight is another keychain. This is the Hot Wheels toy keychain. And it looks like there's a button. Maybe it'll start one of my Hot Wheels cars up for me, like a remote starter. That's a big clip. Let's see. Let's press it. Ooh, it lights up. Look at that. And it's pretty bright in my hand. So this moves, and then you can clip it on here. The 2000 Hot Wheels. That's a nice one. And this is a different kind of plastic in here. And the letters are set in in the white. Pretty cool. Wow, number eight. We're only halfway there. The Hot Wheels keychain. Number eight in the 2000 set. So we have to move on to number nine. All right, number nine is a motorcycle. Toy bike with stickers. Oh man, they're killing me with all these stickers. I'm not sure how that goes. Oh, that's that doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> Probably just for the gas tank. And 
There we go. I have a hard time cutting that open. It's a it's a mini bag. Oh. Okay, so I think the guards go that way. And then, oh yeah, look, see on the picture? So D is on the front. How's D going to fit? Oh, on the opposite side of the tank. So it's this side here. Up here? No, let me see. Hold on a second. They're throwing me for a loop here. Let's get this side done. So B looks like it's in a weird spot, like over the bolt there. That must be it. And they want it to go this way. So then this one would be this side, kind of doing the same thing, but no bolt. They're close. I'm close. And then A is on the back, covering the bolt again, fitting into this little area here. And it doesn't fit very good. I'm not liking these in stro oh, I think that's it right there. Yeah, that, lo that looks like it fits nicely. That one there. Yeah, that wasn't too bad for a sticker sheet, huh? There. There's the bike. Four stickers. Thought it was gonna be a lot. That's not too bad. Me 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 Alright, well, enough of my motorcycle sounds. No, not enough. Me, 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 That's it. There you go. Number nine. Check it out. Pretty cool. Wheels roll great. But it won't stay up. There you go. Number nine, let's move on to number ten. Number ten, a BMX bike. Alright. So from a dirt bike to a BMX bike, looks like they've covered quite a few sports cars to open wheel race cars to bikes to clip-ons and a simple sticker sheet. Let's see if I can get this one right. BMX bike toy with stickers. Can I show that? That's what it says, number 10. All right, so the M for McDonald's. That one for sure goes that way. Ah. Pretty neat little bike. I like this one. So the E. The M is the E. It goes right here. Now would you put these on or would you leave them off and just have a nice blue bike? Alrighty. Let's see here. Okay, C, well there's something here, A, let's get A, A is a flame, and it goes right here, change it just a little, okay, which means the B goes here, All right, so you had the sniffle there. Okay. Very cool bike. C and D are throwing me here. It almost, it's a long sticker. And it wraps around the pedal. I think that's what it is. 
So the whole petal is black. All right, I'm sniffling now. I don't have a cold. Because I saw like a little arrow there. See, it's like, whoop. And then this is supposed to go on the other side. Hmm. Oh, there it is back here. So it's like the petals at this position here, this petal. Okay. There is my bike. That is cool. That is number 10. Detailed and ready. Here, let me see if I can just set it there. No kickstand, so can't I gotta just hold it there for you. Very nice. All right, let's move on to number 11. All right, now we've moved into a sprint car. That's another open wheel car. And a sticker sheet, all right. I might go back to those other cars and finish, finish those sheets so we can just see what they're supposed to look like. All right, so let's take a look here. So M is the big M on top. This way, I'm going to go this way. So when it's coming down the track, you got the big M coming towards you. And then B is the number seven. And that goes right on the front. Lucky number seven. I don't like how that sat down there. I don't like that either. I'm using my scissors to kind of... Oh well. I would have moved it over just a little bit. That's why it's hard to do the stickers sometimes on the camera without the right tools. You almost need a tweezers and a steady hand. Hit them just right. So the Red matches the McDonald's. You got the big M on top, the number seven, open wheel. I kind of like this one. I like the, the wheels on it. The McDonald's Sprint Racer. All right, number 12. All right, now they're really throwing us for a loop here because number 12 is a stopwatch. Now, what are the chances of this working over 14 years old? What are the chances? Let's see, is there an on off? No. Okay, so this does not work. Let's just see, maybe you gotta do something here. Okay, press button to turn on. Pressing and holding does not turn on, but I can still show it to you, so let me just zoom into it. And the reason it's acting colored like that is because of my filter, that's not on there actually. And then there's the back. And if you have this and you want those instructions for somebody out there who might have this and it works, ours doesn't, there you go. Number 13. Let's move on. All right, so now we're getting into some flying vehicles. This is a helicopter with a bunch of stickers. Stickers are my nemesis today. Wow. Wow. Big stickers. Oh, that's neat. It's like in a little helicopter cup. Nice red helicopter. Okay, you look at that. Whoa, that was fast. Okay, had a hard time setting the camera there. So D is a big sticker that goes on the side. Let's uh, do it so you can see it. See, if I had a tweezers, I would just, if I had a tweezers, I can hold it there and then kind of get an idea 
if I have it in the right spot. See there? I could see this is on a little angle. So I line it up straight so it doesn't line up with the window perfectly. That, I don't like that either. And I would just keep going till I found the placement that I liked. That one's pretty good. Oh, this is plastic on the back. I didn't notice that right away. All right, so I'll have to finish those stickers later, but that's what the sticker sheet looks like. All right, that's 13. Let's go to number 14. All right, not sure if there's a rhyme or reason here. We're back to a car. It's the McDonald's Hot Rod. Now, I've seen this one numerous times. And this one already comes with all of the coloring and decals on it, which to me is the coolest. I wish they all were like that with the painted on decals. So that's all nicely painted in there, even the back ones. You've got the three colors in the paint job. What looks to be a blower sticking out the top of the hood. You even got this little red. I don't know if that's supposed to be there on the tip. Almost looks like it dripped off. Oh man. It's still a neat looking car, huh? Have you seen that one around? Not realizing it was to this set? Well, now you know. And uh, I have to move on, we have two more. So 15 is next. All right, back to something that flies. It's an airplane. I would call it a fighter jet, but I guess it is an airplane. And look at all the decals. See, wouldn't it be nice if all this was painted on there? But I understand that the McDonald's vehicle is the coolest and already customized. Let's see, let me see if I can put one on there. Let's find A. A looks okay, not too difficult. Goes back here in front of these and in this direction. See, tweezers so much easier. Back a little more. Turn it slightly. There you go. That's pretty close. All right, let's take a look at that and the decals so you can kind of look at the whole thing. They're like plastic and metal combined. It's a hard plastic. It's bendable, and then you got the metal fuselage. Wow, we made it to 15. Now we have to get to 16. That's the last one. And then I can show you the whole collection again. Get them all decaled and we'll take a look at them. So let's do the last one, number 16. All right, number 16 is the binoculars. Let's take a look at that. And see what they're all about. Ooh, can you see through that? So you have the Hot Wheels logo, both sides. Got like grips on the ends, on the sides there. The red eye pieces don't move, but of course you can see into them. Can you see into them? So that is number 16. Well, we got through all 16. Let's take a look at them now, like as a whole set. And we'll just uh, check them all out one more time. All right, so there was the number one. I'll work our way through each one. And that's the look at with the decals all in place. Nice looking cars, huh? Remember, this lights up. This one has some decals on the bottom also, the Hot Wheels, and then the binoculars. So there you go, ooh, 
So there you go. That is the whole set. So what is your favorite? I can't say now. I'm going to stick with the McDonald's car. And I like all these open wheel race cars. Leave it in the kind. And you know what? The BMX is pretty cool. They're all cool. And thanks for watching. What's the other Happy Meal Retro Toys? We have a bunch. There'll be a playlist in the description. Or as always, you could just search our channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.